What's up guys, welcome back to All Wings Everything. Yes, you are back in my kitchen with your boy Spinelli for another delicious and easy recipe. And in today's video, I got another copycat recipe. I'm gonna show you guys how to make Hooters style Daytona wings. Yes, I love Hooters Daytona wings. Now, my favorite flavor of Hooters is the original. My next is though Daytona. So I hope you're in your kitchen. I'm already in mine, so let's go. All right, so here are the ingredients we're gonna use for today's recipe. Let me show you what we have. Right here, we're gonna use some hot sauce, Frank's Red Hot Sauce. You can use whatever hot sauce you want. We got some of that Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. If you don't have Sweet Baby Ray's, just use some regular um, Kraft or uh, Heinz hot sauce. I mean, not hot sauce, barbecue sauce. We're gonna use some white all-purpose flour, salt. We're gonna use honey, black pepper, smoked paprika, garlic powder, soy sauce, brown sugar, uh, some crushed red pepper flakes, and the star to show our alitas or wings. So these are the ingredients, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've already measured out our ingredients. Let me tell you what I have here. So right here, I have about 2.5 pounds of uh, chicken wings. Right here, I have three fourths cups of that Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. Again, if you don't have Sweet Baby Ray's, then use whatever barbecue sauce that you have. Uh, right here, I have a fourth of a cup of honey. I have a fourth of a cup of that Frank Red hot sauce. Again, this is interchangeable too. You can use whatever hot sauce you have. Have one teaspoon of black pepper, fourth of a teaspoon of chili flakes, two tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and I have a half a cup of flour right here. So these are the ingredients, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so what we're gonna do now is prepare our flour. So what we're just gonna do is add these dry ingredients in here, our pepper, our salt, and our paprika. Very simple. And we're just going to give it a mix like this. So this is what we have. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna bring our chicken pieces back into the shot right here. So what we're gonna do now is we're just going to pour our flour over our chicken pieces. Now you can either put this in a separate bowl if you want to and then do it that way. That's, I mean, you can do it that way or you could just pour it over here, doesn't matter. I'm gonna start off with a little bit in the beginning. Make sure we get everything. Make sure you get them fully floured. And really you just want that thin layer on here, guys. Yeah, this can get a little messy. So that's what we have. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take our chicken pieces and I'm just going to sit here, sit them here on this rack. Doesn't matter how you sit them on here, guys. And you see how I got that thin layer of flour. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take these wings and I'm gonna sit them in the refrigerator for 30 minutes to allow this flour just to settle in. This is gonna help with uh, getting it crisp in the oven. So I'm gonna do that and we'll be back in 30 minutes. All right, so now we're back after 30 minutes in the refrigerator. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to push this back here. As you can see, you can take a look. This is what we have for our wings. And I'm gonna bring our baking sheet here in the shot because we're gonna go ahead and throw these bad babies into the oven. As you can see, I've already um, lined the baking sheet with some aluminum foil. This just helps with the cleanup. Also, I have some cooking spray that I'm gonna spray over the grates so your meat doesn't stick to the grates. I have preheated the oven to 375, so it's on 375 at the moment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding our chicken pieces here and we're gonna do them skin side down like always. And you know how I like to do it. I like to do them about a half an inch apart. So I don't like to overcrowd our pan. Cause we definitely want that um, heat to circulate between the chicken. That way it gives us that even cook. Here it looks like they give you way more wings in the package than they do in the States because I never fill the pan, the baking sheet with all the chicken, but here 
I always tend to get the pan full. All right, so this is what we have. I'm gonna go ahead and stick them in the oven. We're gonna allow them to cook for a total of 40 minutes. And then I flip them over midway through the cooking process. That way we can get both sides um, evenly cooked. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to start um, preparing our Daytona sauce. So what we're gonna do is just gonna add out the remaining of the ingredients, no particular order. So I'm gonna start here with our um, barbecue sauce. Next, our hot sauce, our honey, soy sauce, garlic powder, our uh, brown sugar, And lastly, our chili flakes. Now, if you want to you know, hold back on the chili flakes, you can. That's up to you. But of course, you guys know I like that heat. And we're going to get this mixed together and we're going to bring it up to temperature to a slight boil. And then we're going to turn it down and let it simmer for about five minutes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get this bad baby up to temperature. All right, guys, as you can see, we're at a slight boil. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reduce this heat and I'm just gonna let it cook for about five minutes on simmer, and then we're going to um, put it in an empty dish, and then we're gonna wait for our wings to um, be done, all right? All right, so we are 30 minutes in with our wings, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start flipping them over like this. You can see those, those bad babies are crisping up. Still got another, about another 20 minutes left before we pull them out. And that last 30, that last 20, 25 minutes, it's gonna get these babies just the way we want them. All right, so that's what we have, guys. I'm gonna get them back in the oven and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off, give this a quick mix, and we're just going to pour this in a empty dish. And we're gonna just wait for our wings to be complete and ready to go. All right. Oh, this smells good. Guys, take a look at that. Oh, yes. All right. See you in a bit. And this is what we have, guys, fresh out the oven. Let me grab one of these bad babies and let you take a look at it. Look how crispy that is right there. Oh, man. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these on a, I'm sorry, in a bowl. And then we're going to get them sauced up. So I got me a bowl here. We're going to just stick them in here. All right, guys, so this is what we have. So let me go ahead and move this hot bacon dish over. We're going to sit that right there. All right, and let's adjust our camera. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get these bad babies sauced up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some of this sauce over it and we're going to get them all moved around in here you know do a little shake it bake it bake it bake it shake it bake it all right i'm just going to add a little bit more of that sauce to it i like these daytonas to be saucy all right guys take a look at that all right so what I'm going to do now, you already know, with Hooters, they throw these bad babies back on the rack into the oven to bake that sauce into them. And that's all we're going to do is uh, we're going to put this back on the rack and we're going to bake this sauce into here for about, about three minutes. You don't have to keep them in there that long, maybe three minutes, maybe five, just depends on how hot you got your oven. But three minutes going will be enough. Guys, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm gonna get these back in the oven and I'll see you in about three minutes. All right, so we're fresh out of the oven again for the second time, the last three minutes to letting that um, sauce bake in. So take a look at what we got, guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a plate and I will be right back. Man, this looks so good. And there you have it, guys. Copycat Hooters Daytona Wings. Yes, I got some Hooter lovers out there. 
that love those Daytona wings. So the ingredients and the measurements are all in the video description below, guys. Also, the links to the ingredients, if you need to go over to Amazon and grab them, go ahead and do so. Until then, let's go and get into some of this quality control because I know you guys are ready to see me tear into these babies here. Look at these babies. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so it's time for quality control on these Hooter copycat style Daytona wings. Take a look at that. Man, that's a, that's a plate full right there. I don't even know. If, I know I can't eat all this. Anybody want to come and help me eat these? All right. I'm in the DR if you want to. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and grab me one. That one looks really, really good right there. So let me go ahead and try this out. Mm. Guys. Tastes just like it. Matter of fact, you know I'm gonna say, it tastes better than it. Try one of these all uh, flats. Wow. Daytona. Copycat Hooters wing. Well, I think I got a little crunch to it because you know, we had that flour. So, the good thing is, they do have a Hooters where I'm at. So, whenever I don't want to make it myself, I can definitely just make my way over to Hooters and they'll take care of me. But these babies here, man, mm, got them. They're good. So, don't forget, hit that applaud button. And until then, I'm your cook, Spinelli, all wings, everything, and I am out. Peace.